Over the past years, Kiunga Secondary School has lacked proper materials for its science lab with inclusion of equipment for its science students. This ongoing problem had affected students' practical lessons, particularly in chemistry, biology, and physics subjects. The first science lab used since the establishment of the school in the early 1960s were burned down in 2011 by some students raging over their poor academic performances. Since then, the school had no practical equipment and labs for students to learn. Former grade 12 science students Austin Waimona and Jones Williams say they have not learned well in chemistry and other science subjects but would like to see change for the students who go through their former secondary school. And I didn't learn much, especially in science courses. It's uh, chemistry because of no proper equipment to learn. And school has to look at this condition. And if it continues, it will affect the upcoming ones. And school has to address and government has to look at this condition and fund some money to build uh, science labs to help the students to continue with their education because the students, uh, we are the upcoming leaders for this Western province. Despite these challenges, teachers have continued to teach over 700 students enrolled annually to ensure students are educated. A concerned parent in Kiunga, Kuso Wangi, whose child will be doing grade 11 this year in KSS, says the Provincial Education Division and the Fly River Provincial Government has to look into this issue immediately. So Kiunga Secondary, the Western Province Government or the Education Department goes to look seriously into the school. That's where the whole citizens of PNG will grow when we put more money or more service into the school. So the way I see in this school, how I look at in this school, yes, our the last year previous students, their main concern about the science lab. It is very desperately needed. They need a proper equipment apparatus to learn more. Meanwhile, the Western Provincial Education Division has responded to the issues quoting they are aware of the issue and will help support the school. Provincial Education Advisor Charlie Buya says a funding of 800,000 kina has been allocated for all high and secondary schools within the province, which will be used to purchase basic science equipment for the schools. We will be looking at uh, some of those basic needs, uh, so basic school supplies. We also want to look at uh, uh, science equipment for, for the schools. Uh, we've got funds available there now for high schools and so uh, seriously we'll be looking at trying to uh, get equipment. Get equipment. Um, the government has been, the department has been uh, providing us science materials. Um, the last supply of uh, kit that I know about is about two years ago. Jamie Harrow, National. MTV News.